Look, it's rice. You guys ever seen rice before? We've been trying to come here for over a year, but every time we come, line up for five hours at least. But clearly this time, no line. And only two other tables, so it is. Yeah. I like these plates. I bet you when they break, they just buy them down the street. <laughs> Where is It's from uh, the grocery store. <laughs> Happy Monday. You know when I'm just like this, what I was up to. I just had a meeting, I think it went well. You know I never really know. It's usually when I feel like I bombed them that they go well and when I think they're good, it's just meh. I've never had a bad meeting though. So that's a good thing. I don't know if it's because the food was good but salty yesterday. That bread with the burrata, so salty. That's the thing, when you lose vision, your senses do heighten, so taste, salt, I'm gonna make a smoothie because I haven't had one in a minute. I should really buy a new blender because me banging on this on the side is not a good vibe. I've had this blazer for three, four years and I feel like I went through puberty since because it doesn't fit well anymore. I try to balance out my life. I find Sundays and Mondays are for naught because I'm always editing. And then I look back at my week and I'm like, why did Sunday suck or Monday not feel meaningful to me? Not me struggling, but if I could live in athleisure, that would be the vibe. But anyway, I'm going to go to the gym because the water was shut off this morning. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way I'm going to do a workout, not shower myself, and then put on work clothes. No, we're not doing that. So now that the meeting is done and ah, hallelujah, the water is back on. Watch me trying to put essential oils in my diffuser with no water. I feel like I can get my day started for real, for real. It's closed. Morning, guys. I've been up to a lot today. I've already done yoga, showered, and now I have another set on because we're gonna go for a walk with Efi in a little bit. But first, I gotta get some breakfast. Breakfast? Be fast, breakfast. There we go. I gotta get some breakfast in my system. <sighs> Small space solutions. Always storing things in the weirdest places. I had a meeting this morning. I think it went well. I hate when I fumble on my words. It's the same when I record a video. Once I start, I can't stop. There's a one take wonders where you just go with the flow, whether it's Zoom, Teams, or YouTube video. And then there's a times where I start my intro off and it's just snowball from there. Just go forward optimally, optimistically. The Weather Network, which always lies, says it's 21 degrees right now, but I'm gonna throw a shirt on top because I don't believe that. Is the Weather Network off in your neighborhood or city too? Because it's always off in Toronto. How do you expect next year to be better than this year if you're not efforting right now, right? So maybe I'll put that on the roster for next week's pod episode, but I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you like the pod so far, whether you're part of the Patreon fam or you listen to the public pods, let me know. And also if you ever have any recommendations for subject matter, that sounds so serious, subject matter. Also let a girl know. Anyways, once this pops up, I'm gonna make some matcha, then we're gonna head out because I think I need to leave in about 45 minutes. And for some reason, I'm the worst when it comes to time. I'm good with time management when it comes to work, knowing how long something takes and blocking it off and doing But in my personal life, maybe it's because I do it so much, I just, I can't. I'll tell myself, okay, be ready in 15 minutes. I'll be ready in five, but somehow the next 10 minutes just kapoof. You know what they say? To be early is to be late and to be on time is early. That's my mantra. So I'm gonna get back into that because I feel like the pandemic had me fall off the rocker a little bit.
here tell Evie apart from the trees? Dee <laughs> dee. <laughs> Day. didn't even really need this. I put it on to take it off then I felt cold and I wanted to put it back on but it actually ended up being really hot once we started to walk. That's how it goes September in Toronto but it's actually really nice and characteristically warm. One of my friends in the building was going to the pool when I was coming in. I was like enjoy the sun. It may not be that hot for me but hey if you like it I love it okay. I thought about going to the store to get my glasses repaired because they keep falling off my face. But your girl needs a shower. There's no way I'm going to Yorkdale Mall to get my glasses set up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't fake the funk. I know that's not what the saying is for, but I'm going to shower and then make lunch and then get to editing. That's what I'm going to do over here. I'll check in with you guys. Don't know what my plans are for tonight, so I might even see you tomorrow. Morning love, so I finished all my meetings for the day, so we're out getting a little coffee. Figure we might as well on the first day of fall or last day of summer, whichever way it goes. Who goes out to be on their phones? Rude. Excuse me. <laughs> Recording. Hey Alicia's World, it's Chris checking in. Got a few things I'd like to talk about. Uh, I went on a date last night and this girl was peppering in to conversation that she's like partied at Drake's house. Like that's a big deal. Every girl in Toronto is partied at Drake's house. Uh, also, it cost me $300 to go on a date. So at this point, I'm just going to die alone because it's more affordable. Uh, a few other things I'd like to touch base on. Oh shoot, service coming and I don't want to be vlogging in front of another person. Bye. Cheers. He's not having any parts of it. This smells so good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Always mocking me. Hey guys, this food is so good. Look, it's rice. You guys ever seen rice before? Look, on. Some butter chicken. Girl with the camera. <laughs> You're still singing the tunes? Mm -hmm. Because you've been let down by your Just like starting along. Back again. Guess I should take this tripod down from this morning, hours ago. Whoa. What was waiting at my door for when I returned? Switched off into my clothes. I almost had half a mind to leave my house in this today, but I thought I want to feel comfortable when I come back home. And you know how I feel about inside clothes outside and outside clothes inside. This was at the door. Lunch was so good, and I had some takeaway and I left it on the table. Working in the restaurant, I hate that. You know why? Because it takes time to go in the back to get the takeaway, to pack it, to bring it out for someone to forget it on the table. And I did that. I was trying to open this up classily. I haven't done Spawn Con in over a year. It takes a lot for me to decide to work with a company and advertise their stuff. So, I'm so hyped. This company, Sinbono, reached out to me a little over a month ago. Even though I'm a small influencer and you wouldn't think from the amount of following or views I get, I get at least three offers a day and I say no to all of them because I don't want to just show you stuff to show you stuff. But this is a vegan leather company, which I was like, hmm, I did a little research on them. This is so my vibe. They have a lot of bags online. They have a Bottega looking bag. You didn't hear it from me. I was like, nah, mind, if you want to rock a knockoff, if you like it, I love it. Hey, get it how you live it. So I'm going to be the last person to tell you to buy a lookalike or a knockoff or whatever. But personally, me, if I'm buying a bag, it's because I'm buying it for quality. I want to know that if something happens, I can go back to the store and get it worked on, assessed or whatever, right? You know, I keep it real over here. Don't get it twisted. This is not giving 
leather. This is obviously vegan leather, but I'm not mad at it. And I like it like this. I could even do it like a little shorter strap or even like, well, we can't do with this. I thought it came with a longer one. She was mistaken. If you watched my what's in my bag video from years ago, you know that I'm super insane. For a girl who can't see well, things like seams get to me. I'll run my finger down it to make sure that it feels like it's even and uniform and then I'll zoom in to make sure on my phone. But it feels like it's well done so far. Like I said, it's very smooth, which I'm afraid that it will scrape and scratch, but we won't know until that happens. And I'm not trying to scratch it to see. We'll see when it happens, but I'm not trying to make that happen. My favorite part about this bag so far is this latch. Because I haven't seen that before. And I think that's very smart. Because a lot of times there's like loops and clasps. We don't need that. I do like the metallic ones where it's a buckle at the bottom that just kind of... But hey, this is different. I'm not mad at it. Just here, try these three shapes. Good afternoon, guys. It's Thursday. I'm already ready and dressed for pole later today, although I might change because I just don't want the itty bitties falling out the keyhole part, but we'll see. I'm going to try a different recipe today. I heard that the hack for the perfect Alfredo is to put chicken nuggets in it. Who would have thought, but we're gonna find out. So let's pop these in the oven, oven, whatever it's called. 20 minutes. Get the water boiling. In the meantime, my usual avocado, almond, butter, date, banana smoothie. Not, not this. This, which might I need to buy more of it. And finally, avocados were on sale. Not that anyone cares, but four for five dollars is the best price I've seen all year, which is crazy to me. But anyway, I'm gonna make a smoothie, get back to editing a little bit. I've been doing that for most of the morning, but the time, where is it going? How is this the first day of fall? I thought the 21st of each quarter was the first of the season, but apparently, no, I was wrong all these years. My mom told me that the 22nd was the first of fall, but I didn't want to listen to her. Then I Googled it. <clears throat> Mama's right. Anyway, either way, it's cold today, so Mother Nature definitely got the memo. How many bananas do I want to put in? A full one, half one? I literally don't know what I'm doing, but whatever. Do I know what I'm doing? No. Okay, pasta turned out all right. A little bit too salty for me, but everyone I've spoken to says I don't salt my food enough, so. That might say something. I'm in the lobby, which I should be using for content way more often because it looks so good. I love those blue chairs. Anyway, I'm gonna go run an errand, then go to pole class and go, <laughs> can't speak, go grocery shopping. So I'll bring you guys all the way through. He thinks this is normal. Look at all this. It's never to be too safe. Clearing out the shelves. Oh, Sorry. Just in case. Just for good luck. Just for good luck. Right? <laughs> <laughs>
today was filled with strange happenings. The guy sleeping on the train, the lady who had the microphone that was singing her heart out. <laughs> Only on TTC. Took everything out of the bag. I didn't get that much this week. I feel like I've been getting less and less this week from that store, which is my main store, because I've been going to Farm Boy a little bit more. They have the freshest fruits, so what can you do? But I did get some mint, because I love the President's Choice mint, except when it goes bad on me, but that's a me problem. I asked the lady for a price check on this because I didn't zoom in to see how much the carton costs. She said five ninety nine. I was like, whoa. She's like, yeah, I haven't bought grapes in a year. And I'm like, what? Really? She said that she has a whole grape tree. And now her neighbors want grapes for free. And I thought that was so funny. They're very sweet. Not mad at it. I'm going to wash these. And I got some more lettuce. Some more green onion, which I will actually put in one of these. <clears throat> I bought these things a couple months ago so that whenever I have something that's smelly, aka green onion or cilantro, which I love the smell of, but I don't want my whole fridge to smell like it, I can put in one of these. But the only thing is, some veggies do better with having a little bit of moisture, so they actually go bad faster in here. But if I could close it, it doesn't even look aesthetic. Like when I bought this, I thought, oh, it's going to be so pretty in my fridge. No, 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 no. I thought the guy behind me was going to get mad because at some point she wasn't scanning when she could have scanned and talked, if you know what I mean. She's done scanning my stuff. She asked him, hey, is this hers or yours? And he's like, oh, this is definitely mine. Do you see all the green she's got? She's not eating this. So then I started to laugh and I'm like, oh, you guys still got the chips in the back? He's like, okay. But I just eat processed food, you know, you only live once and he's like an older man. So I was supposed to get chickpeas, but I didn't feel like it to make the curry because I'm probably not going to do it tonight. Bananas, what's new? Every week I get a new batch of bananas. I got some coconut water because I'm running low. So I'm going to have David over on the weekend. So I figured I'd just get a little bit of for the charcuterie board. And speaking of, I got my favorite camembert. Is that what it's called? Brie, camembert, I don't know. And then I also got mushrooms, borsan. This one's so good. I was undecided between this one and there's a next one that has maple and apple. And I was like, ooh, that could be good. But what if he doesn't like sweets with cheese? This is a lot of cheese though. Butter, $7. Oh my gosh. And that's supposed to be cheap. Holy, holy me want to know how much these two pairs cost luckily for me or maybe unluckily when they're scanning things i can't see the screen to know how much it's gonna cost so it's only until i come home and i put it into my excel sheet that i was like dang girl groceries are really getting more 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 but even when i'm zooming in on the prices for individual things as i go through because i like to have an idea by the time i get to the checkout right the prices are definitely going up and mind you, the store that I went to today is supposed to be like the budget-friendly one. There's always one in every hood. So if the price at the bottom is going up, how are all the people who are barely making it supposed to survive? Like, I do this so that I can thrive in other areas. A lot of my friends, well, female friends, I won't say make fun of me, but they always question, like, you go that far out of the way to get your groceries when there's four or five groceries in this neighborhood? I save on average, let me just close the fridge for a second. Save, no cap. I save on average a dollar to five dollars per item. Now if I'm buying 10 to 50 items, okay, maybe not 50 items in one go. Let's say I'm buying 10 to 25 items and everything is at least a dollar cheaper there. Just think about it. Fish sauce, general Tao. I know how to make Asian sauce from scratch. It's just, why? Just why? <laughs> Because you know I need something to go with the guac and I have all those avocados I was telling you about earlier today. Yes. Oh, another portobello. And this time, I didn't smush it. Hot chocolate season. Morning, guys. Workout session complete. I did a little ab, but it was so boring. I didn't want to show you. It was just holes. Anyway. On the roster today is I got to watch and analyze and film and edit Atlanta season four, episode three. I'm so excited to see what they did this week. The lime juice turned red. I don't know how to feel about that. That's really weird because I don't feel like iced coffee today. It's too cold. Oh, it smells so good. 
So good. I made this a week ago. I'm pretty sure that's not good. Who am I kidding? Who needs Starbucks when you have a Bean Wise? So much better. They used to have a pistachio latte at Starbucks that honestly I think was their best drink to date. It's actually really close with the caramel brulee that they have every winter. Get that half sweet. I remember when I used to get it full sweet. Taste buds change quickly, let me tell you. It's immaculate, impeccable. Coffee's ready? Because I can't read here. I really can't see that. Either way, whenever I buy things, nine times out of 10, I'm buying because this part looks different on this, for example. Or even with, let's say, chipped yesterday. I can say that it says lime because it's large enough but it has the light green strip and I made the mistake of buying the hint of jalapeno which isn't that good because it has a similar green strip. So I would say 80% of the time I buy because things are in the same place in the supermarket so when they switch things up it gets on my nerves. And then the other 20%, 10 is based off how it looks and 10 is me zooming in. Actually no, I think it's a bigger percentage of me zooming in to confirm especially when it comes to buying spices. This one. It's more foamy. Nope, still underwhelming. I want to set up this camera real quick before that damn refrigerator rumbles back on. It's so annoying. And two of my building buddies who live in the more renovated bachelor say that their stainless steel fridge is not nearly as long. Hola, hola. Ooh, it is bright. Where's my sunglasses? I just realized. Where did I put them down? Anyway, got some cupcakes from the shop that I've been meaning to try for a while now. And now we're going to go to Sage to get an essential oil. But I think I won't film because it's really small in there. It's going to be super awkward. 95. Just kidding. I'll show you what I got from the store in a sec. But first, from Sage, I got yoga. This essential oil is so good. The first time I smelled it, I was like, no. But it came in a sudden four that Nadine gave me for my birthday or Christmas last year. And I'm obsessed with it. It's kind of expensive, even 20% off. Then I always pass by the cupcake shop when I go on my walk. So I'm like today, because we're celebrating, ooh, we got a little squish, but that's okay. Can you see it? One is red velvet. Watch, I tilt it too much and then it drops. It was so windy today. I'm like, these are gonna be mashed up by the time I get home. Spicy soprasada, so good. To go with the rest of the assorted meats I got the other day. Was it just yesterday? Time's flying, how is it Friday? You need to get you some champagne soaked cheese and manchango. I don't know which one is which because I can't see. All I know is when I zoomed in, I was like, cost of living is definitely going up. Thank you to have a quick dinner, edit a little bit, and I'm gonna go up to the unit. So I'm not gonna bring you guys the vlog because it's weird. It's the first time I'm chilling at our house. Oh my gosh. Um, this is a hazard. There's all these glass crystals here. Shucks, I was trying to take this out and this stupid plug was caught. So I pulled it thinking it was underneath the bleach, but actually it was the blender. I mean, I've been needing a new blender, but I didn't want to have to under these circumstances. Oh. This sucks a lot. broken glass when you're visually impaired is you can't see if you got every last flake up. I just don't want anything to catch my foot or my friend's feet when they come later. I'm stopping to get a coffee because I'm so exhausted, although I know I'm going to rent this midday cafe fix because I'm going to be up. Mark my word, I will be up. But I need to go home and film a video but before that I have to run a quick errand around the corner, so might as well, right? Like maybe two months ago. Yeah. I like it, it's good. Nothing beats a cannon though. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people who does. Oh. Do you like art? Totally, totally. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah, art yeah, is so important. Oh, take your picture. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you. You're so I try to be productive and I filmed a nutrition video. I might have missed something, so I might have to do it all over again because you know how I feel about adding other parts from other days. 
but we won't know until we're in post pro. But what I do know is my friend's left. He's on his way, which means, let me just put this here. Hey, board right away. I don't know if I'm gonna put out popcorn and egg chips. It's just him and I, but you know, presentation is key. So first things first, these grapes are sweet by the way. It's so nice, I'm excited to be entertaining tonight. I'm such a weirdo. But yes, like I was telling you guys earlier today, I'm gonna be hibernating for the rest of this fall. So it's just gonna be you and I inside a lot. Although I might, cause there's this Mexican restaurant that I saw when I was Googling where we should go last week and it looks so appealing to me. So I just might. I'm big on jams on charcuterie boards. So I'm not really big on jams with my crackers. I just realized, what's a cheese and shakuri board without crackers? I'm gonna have that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go and grab some. Whoopsies! Uh, happens all the time. That's great, girl. I like putting this in the middle, I guess because it's the round one. I also have brisson, which is round, but I might not put that out. The crackers secured. <laughs> Ask why. I wonder what's on my door for real though. Oh, and then I didn't change my address. I'm not sure if I'm staying at the same place. This one goes here. I never know which one is for what. Would you like some chips? Or there can be my guest. People was wearing this thingy on their face. And it's like what became a good friend of mine. The one who I went to the camp. And then, then we went to this place. Jeez, I can't remember. I think Whatever. So, oh my god. <laughs> he invited me spirit. to this place. Oh, shut up! <laughs> How much do you... No, I don't know that yet. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're the trifecta of a Yeah! 